Hi everyone and welcome back for another video. Okay, this is something I've not done in a while. This is a little hobby video and the reason why is because this arrived on my doorstep today and I think it's pretty good. I've had a little peek but I'm going to unbox it with you now and uh, you can have a look and then you can see what you think. So this is the uh, Modern Warfare set from GameMap.eu. Um, I found this on their website, it is scaled for, it says here on their description, 28 to 32 mil scale, similar to Warhammer 40,000, Star Wars Legion and other heroic games. Okay, and this is 55 pounds uh, UK, uh, plus postage and all that. Um, solid resin based material, highly detailed, pre-painted. Okay, so... Um, there you go, X-Wing, Age of Sigma, all that kind of stuff. But what I did notice, and I'll show a picture for you, that'll pop up. On the picture of the product, there was a Rhino Epic Scale next to it, and I thought it looked pretty damn good for scale. So let's open the box, have a look, and uh, well, you can see what you think. Okay, so I've hacked open the box uh, with a knife and as you can see, it's all nicely packaged in polystyrene. You can see where the box has taken a few knocks on transport, but uh, nothing is damaged and everything's in uh, a nicely sealed compartment for each one. Okay, so what we've got in here, I'm just knocking the camera, okay. Right, okay, so these are like bastion style bunkers and uh, I think that's going to look really nice in the 8 to 10 mil uh, for Titanicus and Epic. I mean, obviously you can use it for your 40k games, but I think it works better with the smaller scale. So that's one. And these are the other ones. It was a slightly taller, slightly different shape, but similar sort of thing. Finally, and this is why it's so cool, is you get the walls and I think there's enough in here to span four foot, so I'll, I'll measure that up uh, later. So I'm thinking like narrative games, uh, Battle for Nikron City is something I definitely want to do. So I'd like to do it on the channel as well. Um, so that's kind of uh, my incentive was the, the pre-made, pre-painted walls. Um, trying to find time to paint your legios, make videos and do scenery as well um, is limited so um, hopefully this will scratch that itch. Okay so that's what's in the box, that's how it comes. Um, I'm going to mess around with it. I've got a little 3x3 three three mat out so I can set up some um, sort of scenario style setups, uh, straight walls, compounds, all that sort of thing. So I'm going to do that and uh, we'll have a look. Okay, so that's everything out of the box. So you've got four of the large sort of bastion style uh, compounds. You've got four of the medium sort of size ones, and then you've got 10 sections of wall. And uh, so I'm gonna mess about with them. I'm gonna set them up in some sort of thematic ways, uh, add some buildings, and then I'll show you some scale with uh, Titans, Knights, and some Epic miniatures uh, to see what you think of the scale. Okay, so here we have on a 3x3 mat, it's just easy for me to set up, just a little sort of complex kind of setup really. You can imagine what would be nice actually is to make like a main gate to fit in there and everything kind of sides up next to each other. Just put some buildings inside and that's quite cool. Take up like a nice section of your battlefield, which is easy enough. You've got the uh, outlying sort of bunkers out on the edge. So that's kind of one thing you can do with it. Um, I'm going to set it up again for like a just like a straight wall, like a towel behind it, and uh, I'll put some models down and you can have a look at the scale. Okay, so this is like a straight up wall section. Um, there is enough if you use these as well. 
um, to make well over four foot so you can um, span the width of a whole board for like Micron C and all that kind of game so that, that's awesome I'm really pleased about that so here we are for some scale shots um, here you can see a Porphyrian hiding behind uh, some teeny tiny Terminators Rhinos, Land Raider for scale, Questorus, Serastus the Warlord it's quite a nice bit of cover for the Warlord probably 25% you'll get off that uh, the Reaver that's a good 50% uh, some little dreadnoughts down here for the wall height uh, yeah the Reaver's good 50% and the guns all sort of aim nicely over the top of that one as well um, so that's really good for the Reaver Perforian and the Warhound which will probably definitely get uh, almost completely concealed um, smaller bunkers it's going to be about 25% for the Reavers, not so much uh, for the Warlords, uh, but really good for the Knights. And you can probably wade up uh, right on top of it as well, uh, so you can move through it, over it, and hide behind it. Um, so that's pretty much it really. Uh, so that's from uh, gamemap.eu. I ordered mine from Goblin Gaming. Um, they store uh, a lot of the game map um, terrain stuff uh, as stock so I like to get it from them for my points and uh, there you go that's about it really so I think it's pretty good uh, I'm going to use it in our next bat rep which we're filming at the end of August to hopefully get out uh, beginning of September as quick as possible and uh, with the school holidays and everything it's been quite hard to um, get people together to film so um, hopefully end of August we'll get back on track with some bat reps um, we're going to do a night uh, list bat rep and uh, we'll have some new players as well coming on so uh, stay tuned for that um, there you go I'll see you on the next video